So what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw down the save, and I'm going to go back, and I'm going to do all of the side quest stuff uh, that I haven't done up to this point, which will be doing, fighting all the trinities, because we should have access to, the only trinity we don't have access to yet is the yellow one, and that's because we haven't completed one of the worlds yet. We have to complete a world that gives us access to the yellow trinity. That said, I'm going to go get all the trinities, I'm going to complete all the worlds that I haven't completed yet, which is the only one I haven't completed, is Olympus Coliseum. I'm going to do all the tournaments there. I want to find all the puppies that are left. Uh, I'm going to try to see if I can synthesize some more stuff and maybe synthesize Ultima Weapon. Something, somehow I got a feeling I doubt it. I don't, have, I'm not, I don't have the items for it. I doubt I have the items for it. <clears throat> I doubt I have the items for it, but I'm also not going to spend a lot of time grinding for them either because I just don't want to spend that kind of time. If I can get the items naturally through the course of the game, that's great. Stuff. Maybe I'll do it in like a bonus episode, something like that, but it's just not something that I'm going to grind time, gr grind to do in my current uh, playthrough. And that pretty much goes for the same for any game that I play. Um, thing, games with a lot uh, that require a lot of grinding to do the, some of the optional stuff, like some optional super bosses in some of the games. For example, Final Fantasy VII, the uh, uh, Emerald and Ruby weapon requires some specific strategies and some specific setups that require usually some grinding in order to do, not necessarily level grinding, but just grinding of materia and finding a certain materia and sometimes doing other mini games to unlock certain things to get access to those uh, materia and items that you can use for the uh, for those optional super bosses and those kind of things I don't like doing in the main series because it just takes too long for, because I'm going to be doing them off screen that's a lot of off screen time that I could be using to actually record content and I don't like I usually just don't like doing those things during first of all I don't like those things period I don't like doing that kind of grinding period overall and whether I'm recording or not I just don't like it when you got to spend six to ten hours and this is not just, I'm not pointing fingers at Final Fantasy VII, I'm mainly pointing fingers at Final Fantasy X, because they have a bad habit of this. That game has a bad habit of it. But you have to, if you have to spend like six to ten hours grinding up, or more, grinding up gear, grinding up levels, grinding up equipment. I said equipment twice, but grinding up, grinding period, just to get strong enough to take on these optional super bosses that have. 20 million health and defense stats that are through the roof and that can one shot you uh, you know by just looking at you and going I don't like you eh. you know that's that kind of whether I'm recording or not I don't like that kind of thing I don't like games enough to spend that much time grinding or something like that especially considering that most of those those t side quest kind of things are not really story based and that's what I play games for, is a good story, and of course fun gameplay, of course. But that much grinding without any kind of story takes away fun for me. That's just not fun for me. Uh, I know there are a lot of people that are completionists, and they, 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 take in, they take a pride in taking that kind of time to complete a game like that. But I would rather be considered, I, I would rather not be a completionist and have to take 6 to 10 to 20 to 30 hours, which is sometimes an entire game. I mean, how long have I been playing Kingdom Hearts? I've been at 23 hours at Kingdom Hearts 1 here. you got to take another. Sometimes some of, some of the stuff that I'm talking about here can take 20 hours to grind the stuff up, which, as you can see, is nearly an entire game. That's a lot of grinding with no story and just doing the same thing repeatedly over and over and over again. That just... It goes, to me, I go. I call that from grinding to grating. I just can't stand it. I just don't like it. So I apologize for this sudden random rant. I want to go ahead and throw that out there because I want to let you guys just, you, this, this, this is my video game channel. Of course, this is a channel about gaming, but this is my channel about me, about my life. You, you guys are here for me to talk to and for me to just, sometimes I talk about myself and that's, that's what I'm here to do. And I, that's one of the that was one of the examples of, of me talking about me. Just that's my preference. I don't like spending nearly an entire game's worth of hours grinding, doing the same thing over again, just to get strong enough to handle these ridiculously powerful super bosses. I'd love to fight them, but I don't like spending that kind of time. But that's 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 beyond the point. I mean, there's actually some optional super bosses in this game that I won't be showing off in this current series because they're just too powerful for me to handle even at level 53 uh, and on, on the easiest possibly difficult easiest possible difficulty I'm still not going to be able to handle it still not going to be able to handle them 
So anyway, with that, uh, with that long ass rant out of the way, again, I apologize for that. I'm going to save here real quick. I'm going to go back and do the rest of Olympus Coliseum. I'm going to do most, I'm going to do all of the main cups there. There's a couple of optional cups that I'll explain when I get there that are sort of like optional super bosses that I'm not going to be doing. Um, but I'm going to do the main story cu cups for that uh, world that will give me the access to the Yellow Trinity. Uh, I'm going I'm to reach, I'm going to find all the remaining Trinities in the worlds. And I'm going to find all the puppies and try to get, and try to synthesize more stuff to maybe get Ultimate Weapon. So let me save you real quick and I'll meet you guys. I think I'm going to do the Trinities first. That'll probably be the fastest thing. Um, well, so I still got to get one Trinity before that. So I guess uh, before I do that, I'll meet you guys in Olympus Coliseum and do all the cups there. So meet you guys in Olympus. Be right back. All right, here we are in Olympus Coliseum. And, uh, well, I'm, I don't really mean, actually I intend to grab the Trinities while I'm here, but there is one Trinity here. It's sitting here, so we're going to get this white Trinity while I'm here, if I can actually look at it. And that gives us Violetta. It's a new weapon for Donald. Uh, probably not going to be a better one, considering he's got such a good one right now. Yeah, it's a le that's a good one at 11. Uh, a raw that sometimes inflicts massive damage, reduces max MP by 1. It's actually pretty good, considering that uh, at this point you, uh, at this point of the game, before you actually reach the end game, um, 11, uh, 11 damage is actually pretty good. Pretty good weapon. Too bad he's got this uh, the, the Meteor Strike, but... Uh, that does two more damage, but that Violetta at 11 is actually pretty good. Any weapon that gives you double-digit stats in Kingdom Hearts 1 is a really good weapon. They're very rare, because usually in this game, as you can, like I said, the, the stat differences between the, like, level 1, level 99, or mini school at best. Um, so having a double-digit uh, weapon is damn powerful. It is one of, the, uh, one of the more powerful weapons. All right, Herc, what you got to say? It's time to go from junior hero to real hero. All right, then. Let's do that. All right. Can't open this chest yet. Will not open. I don't need to heal up or save because I saved before I left uh, the, world, or the end of the world. Let's talk to Phil. You know the rules, right? All right. Let's use all the cups that are available. Phil, Pegasus, Hercules, Hades, and question mark. Hmm. Okay. Uh, did I do the Phil cup already? I can't remember. Uh, yeah, I've already done the fill cup because if I, uh, you can tell because if you've already done the cup, you'll, uh, uh, you'll get this option of enter together or enter alone, just Sora. Um, if you've already, if you haven't done it in the, uh, that particular cup yet, it would only just say enter together. You wouldn't have the option of doing, taking Sora alone. Unless it's going to be, uh, uh, unless it's one of those cups where Sora has to fight alone regardless. So there are some cups that you don't get the option. You have to fight with just Sora. So, Pegasus Cup. Yeah, here we go. Enter together. Here we go. This is the Pegasus Cup. I'm assuming most of these guys are probably going to be pretty easy. This should probably be a pretty easy cup. Uh, considering these are... Well, I say easy. These are, these are early... Uh, early level uh, cups so the enemies should be rather easy to beat so this shouldn't be a uh, difficult uh, tournament by any means now, I only have tier 2 thunder right bandit barrel spider and shadows yeah I only have tier 2 magic that's okay As usually I'll, uh, I could come through here with, with tier 3 magic tier 3 thunder and really just totally kick ass of course, I usually had a good, usually I had a good magic stat too, because I had uh, uh, my uh, my weakness was not. Uh, what was I say when I, when I remember at the very beginning of the game, the awakening, where you pick your weapon, where you pick your strength. I I uh, I don't think I took away magic as my weakness, so I had I had a decent a decent magic stat. So having th having a decent you know having uh, having not sacrificed my magic would make my Thundaga stronger. Usually, just one shot most of these early cups. I, when I come here at this point in the game, you know, almost at the end of the game, and, and at the well, the final rest stop. Obviously, like I said, come here with uh, Thundaga 
and with it, except with the exception of the enemies that are immune to thunder magic, you pretty much one shot almost the entire group. Just walk up to him, throw down Thundaga, and it kills everything. Fifth seed, big combo, Fat Bandit and Sur Search Ghosts. Now I can't even stop him running out of magic. I want to stop the fat guys and attack him from behind. Oh, Donald's already down. Or Goofy's down, rather. Well, I went to heal. I went to heal Goofy. I wonder why they're having so much trouble staying alive. I gave them some pretty good defensive gear. And they're, they're you know, similar levels to me. I don't know why they're going down so easily. Not only just here, but they were they went down a bunch back in the uh, back at the end of the world when I was trying to open that uh, that one heart door that uh, that disappeared every time you killed a group of enemies. I wonder why they're they're falling so easily. I don't even have pretty good defense. Oh uh, shit! I don't even have pretty good defensive gear. And one of them is pretty invincible. That's why I really wanted to have that time magic. We already got one of them. Okay, good. Right, if they get close to each other, and they come out of that, they come out of that uh, invincibility. I'm going to stop them both. See if I can't attack them. They didn't get close to each other though. Okay, he came out of silver. He came out of silver. Come on, get close to each other. Come on, get close to each other. I know I could just straight up attack them, but I'm trying to save time getting them close. Maybe they'll, uh... They're immune to stop? Are you serious? Or did I just miss them? Damn it. That's why I wanted to stop them, because I wanted to... Oh, I got one of them. Hate those things. Pot spider and pot spider, pot spider and barrel spider. These are these will be fun to kill. Donald's down again. That bandit and large bodies, oh boy. I got any mat, no, I got any stop mat, no, I can for a stop. No, I don't. Damn it. <laughs> I don't have an ether either. Damn it. <laughs> Look around him, behind him. There we go. Oh, how's that? Ah, oh, crap. He's gonna go berserk in again. Oh, he went into his own guy. I think the other fat guy charged the other guy and, and did the damage. Ah, oh, damn it. I'm trying to keep him get <laughs> even hitting me. He still finally caught up to me. Leon and Yuffie, final round. Oh, shut up, Yuffie. Alright, here's my strategy for taking on these two. You want to take out Yuffie first. The reason I would say focus on Yuffie is because she is ranged, whereas, you, whereas Leon is at close range. Leon is a close range attacker where Yuffie will throw her, uh, as you can see, throw her little shuriken. And she'll, if you're trying to focus on Leon, Yuffie can pick you apart. Alright, Yuffie's down. Once Yuffie's down, they go for Leon. Same rules apply as it did before when you fought him in the first time in Twilight Town, or Tra Traverse Town. You just want to go all out on him. If you're able to attack him while he's, uh, while he's stunned or, you know... You can't, okay, he's going he's gonna to power up his weapon here. I'm going to take this moment to heal up Donald and Goofy. Duck. Ouch. Oh, shit. Get myself now. Oh, I can't. Here. 
There we go. Whoop. Okay. Basically, try to just do your best to dodge your, dodge their, dodge his attacks, and then and then attack him straight forward. If your if your attack misses, then don't try to follow up with a combo. Like I said, same rules apply as, your, as the battle in Traverse Town. Uh, attack him straight forward. If you miss with your attack, don't try to get, don't try to follow up with another attack, as he'll take use of that miss and attack you back. If you do manage to connect, then unleash a combo. Try to get two combos in if you can. But if you, uh, the moment you miss, back off because he's going to he's going to hit you for some good damage, especially once he goes to that upgraded uh, uh, gun blade. Sword learn strike raid. All right. That was great. Looks like Phil's trained another great hero. Is strength the most important part of a hero? Well, what you really need is a strong heart. What makes a strong heart? If you have to ask, you're not a hero yet. Stop talking in riddles. It's not a riddle. <laughs> All right. That is the Pegasus Cup. Now I want to go ahead and equip that uh, strike rate, hurricane blaster. Extreme combo, unleash extreme power, finishing combo. Uh, I need one more AP though for for uh, strike raid. Strike raid is good for throw, it throws your keyblade at at enemies at range, kind of like what uh, Yuffie was doing earlier in that last fight. Um, I do have an AP up. Okay, good. I want to use one. Me. That's good for hitting enemies at range while keeping your distance. Uh, treasure magnet. If you hit, if you recovery rate in battle, have that instead. And then Donald. See, he's already got everything. Okay. Alright, that one's done. Let me, throw, let me throw down another save and then I'll do the next cup. Be right back. <laughs> 